Hey there, welcome to Technability. I'm Berge. It's Tuesday today, and what we're going to do with every Tuesday from this point forward is have a little thing called Tech Tuesday, or excuse me, App Tuesday, or otherwise known as Techna App uh, Tuesday. What we're going to do basically is cover some apps for both uh, platforms and when I say both, I mean iOS and, and Android, and eventually when I get my hands on a Lumia 925 or 928, we're going to include Windows Phone into that mix, and hopefully also include BlackBerry into that mix. So basically what we're going to do is cover maybe one or two apps, go through it, you know, tell you guys what I like about these apps and why I even have them on my phone, and go from there. Also, maybe it'll give you guys a little bit of incentive to download it. You know, some of them are hidden gems. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and get started here. Now... This is uh, App Tuesday. On Wednesdays or Thursdays, I'm still deciding on which day, we're going to have uh, game days. So we're going to go ahead and look at some games. And I'm also going to be taking requests. So if there's any requests that you guys have in regards to any apps or games, let me know and I'll cover them. Okay, so here you have Pixay Pro on Android. There's two versions of this. There's the free version and then there's the pay version. I started out with the free version a few years back, liked it a lot, decided to purchase the pay version. So here you see I chose a picture and uh, all of the uh, filters and whatnot are right down here below. It's a very simple layout, very simple concept. If I go to adjust, obviously you can adjust exposure, contrast, saturation, temperature, tint, brightness, RGB, you can sharpen it, uh, make it a little bit smoother, blur it, boost the picture, fix red eye if you have any red eye issues. I think their fixed red eye is really easy to use as well. If you just zoom in on your eye, you put that little circle thing right there to wherever the red is. We'll go ahead and remove any red that you have in your eye. Boost, we'll just go ahead and boost the photo, uh, brighten it up a little bit, uh, adjust the contrast, and then of course you have the transform picture options and the miscellaneous. Uh, if you go to effect, this is where it gets really fun. You have the paint options, you can insert other pictures within the picture, you could pop colors, you can uh, do uh, different distortion uh, filters here, like for example, sphere eyes. So if I just want to go ahead and make someone look funny, or <laughs> what's really funny with this is if you want to make your muscles look bigger, for example, you can just go ahead and put that there uh, and basically Photoshop the picture as you please. That's really corny to do, guys. If you are doing that, it's, it's really, you know, not something I would suggest, but hey, you never know, man. I mean, people Photoshop their pictures to death, so... Uh, you got distortion pictures, you got uh, color adjustments, you can uh, the hue, colorize, grayscale, there's duotone option, obviously there's a rainbow option, and then there's the artistic features such as pop art. So basically what pop art does, it gives you four uh, grids right there of your picture, neon, and then the photo effects, which is kind of like cross-process and low-mo, which is almost HDR-esque in a way. And of course you get gritty fading color, film grain, fa HDR. You got filters and frames, so I can put you know an instant frame and rounded corners, solid borders, matte, etc. Miscellaneous such as history paint. Um, okay, no history there, masked effects. Okay, so basically masks, and then you can go ahead and paint over that. So uh, the, quite a few features here with the effects. There's stickers, so I can add a little sticker here, a word balloon, um, you know, ABC. Hey. Let's just go ahead and put that there. You can see how that works. All right, so there's stickers. There's little eyes that I could put. Um, you know, obviously that's not going to work, but uh, you see, you see how it works. Uh, of course, there's all sorts of different things: emoticons, celebrations, prints and stamps, comics, etc., etc. Uh, and then, of course, you can export it, save it to your uh, album, which is very easy to do. Just click right there. Okay, it's saved. All right, and then I could do other things such as share it directly from the app, which is really cool. So Pixay Pro, guys, in my opinion, is the top photo editing app for Android, in my opinion. I know there's a lot of people who may disagree with that, but in my opinion, it's the easiest to use. It's got the best interface. It's pretty much right when you open it, it tells you get a picture, take a picture, etc., and you're pretty much... Uh ready to edit. Now with uh, iOS, I, what you have here is you have um, Photogene. Well, it's actually I think Photogene to the second power or something of that nature. Now Photogene is awesome because it, it just has a ton of filters and it, it's got a crap load of features. The thing is it's a little more complex to use than say Pixay Pro here on Android, but with the amount of features that this has, such as the retouches and the other presets and whatnot, it's really a great app for anyone looking to actually do fairly advanced editing. I mean, not advanced, advanced for a smartphone, basically, is what I'm trying to say. So you got a lot of presets, you can adjust, you know, the clarity, you can adjust the brightness. Um, oops, that's the control center. Uh, you got other presets, you got retouches, you can rotate the picture obviously. So you can see there's all sorts of different uh, filters here and all sorts of different effects. Uh, you could put in text obviously, if I want to put a text bubble. Let's just go ahead and 
slide it in there, tap to edit, type in whatever I want, and I'm done. If I can exit out of here, okay. All right, you also have uh, enhancement features. So you vision that enhanced uh, intensity, you got blur radius, blur strength, all sorts of features on this on this app, guys. Photogene. Uh, it's a pay app, I believe. I don't know if there's a free version. You guys would have to look into that. But uh, this, again, is a very advanced, solid um, editor for a phone. I mean, who would have thought that at this point we would have editing apps such as this? So that's my app of the day for the iPhone or for iOS, whether it be an iPad, which it might actually work better on an iPad. And another app I just want to throw out there that's free is Brightness Level. Okay, Brightness Level free in the App Store. I believe there's a hidden gem. Not a lot of people know about it. But it, it doesn't require a widget. Like, for example, a lot of brightness apps require that you put a widget on your home screen. With this, there is a widget. Uh, so if I go to widgets here, you could see there's a brightness level widget. I could just put that right here. It's going to ask me if I want a label. Just push OK. It tells you the amount, that uh, it tells you the brightness uh, percentage that you're at right there within the widget. Okay. And I could just adjust that back to 100. But you necessarily don't even need the widget. You could just have the app. Like if I go into my apps here and I go to brightness level, I put it there. I don't even need the widget. See how that works? Right there. So brightness level, guys. It's free in the Play Store. Check it out. So we had Pixay Pro. We had Photogene. Uh, the apps of the day for App Tuesday, or in other words, Techna App. Thank you guys for watching Technability, and hope you have a good day.